Will five minutes be too soon? Five minutes. Music-wise, I am a sucker for a couple of things. Electric guitars, acoustic guitars, analog synths, wavetable synths, expensive drum sets, grand pianos, bass guitars, really sweet five-string bass guitars, DAWs, reverb plugins, delay plugins. Um, I should probably stop. Whoa, 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 stop right there. Tape synths. We want to talk about tape synths today because I am a sucker for tape synths. I just absolutely love the sound of them, and I've been keeping my eye on a few different ones, especially some of the offerings from Teletone Audio. Two weeks ago, however, Spitfire Audio rose to the top of my list because they released tape synths from blank forms. And of course, Deal Compressor showcased it pretty quickly. I didn't watch much of the video though, because I was too busy yanking out my credit card and shoving money at Spitfire. You know what? I left my wallet in the car. I'll catch you next time. I've spent a little time with tape synth, and sound-wise, this VST does not disappoint at all. Take a listen. chance to go through all the presets yet, but so far I've starred most of them that I've listened to. Terry, aka Blank Forms, has a lot of great equipment and you can specifically hear the mood and microcosm pedals on multiple patches. But I have one other really nice tape plugin from the Phono Loop, and I reviewed Tapes.01 back in February this year and gave it a really high score. So how does the new Spitfire library stack up? Let's find out. Here are the two contestants. In corner one is the contender, Tape Synths weighing in at 10.5 gigabytes with 140 presets. In the other corner, it's Tapes.01, weighing in at 21.2 gigabytes with uh, 492 presets. Maybe this isn't quite a fair fight. Here are the categories. Interface visuals. Does it sound tapey enough? Sound quality, content, effects, and finally sound design features. For round one, Tape Synths comes out with a flurry. I mean, come on, that is one sweet looking interface. And while Tapes.01 has a solid vintage look, we're going to give this round to the chaps from England. For round two, how close do these instruments sound to real vintage tapes? Well, both VSTs feature some top-notch gear recorded on real cassette tapes in a pristine studio environment. And as a child of the 70s and 80s, I've listened to quite a bit of reel-to-reel, 8-track, and cassette tape recordings in my life. Both of these instruments sound absolutely vintage, and I love it. There is no digital modeling here, it's all legit, so I'm going to call this round a tie. In round three, we look at the sound quality of each. This is a tough category to call, because each instrument has its own flavor, and the equipment used for the recordings on each one is very impressive. I like each for different reasons, so again, I'm going to call a draw. In round four, Tapes.01 delivers a heavy punch to even up the score. It has more than triple the presets of Tape Synth. The 140 presets in Spitfire Audio's offering are superb, however, and they put up a huge fight in this category. Tapes.01 is no slouch though, so they easily win the category through sheer brute force. In round 5, we look at the effects. Starting with Tape Synth, it has several reverbs that are just excellent sounding, but that is it as far as effects go. Tapes.01, on the other hand, has four effect slots, where you can choose from a rack of 20 different effects, including chorus, phasers, delays, and more. While these effects don't quite have the same quality as Spitfire, the number of options and control that is available is impressive, which is why Tapes.01 wins this round. Finally, we come to the final round, where we look at the sound design features of each. Tapes.01 delivers a knockout blow early in this round, as its list of features is incredibly impressive. Tape Synth has some basic controls, and the morphing feature is really cool. It's actually similar to something that Dawson did over a year ago with their Abyss VST, but it's no match for the firepower that Tapes.01 brings to the table. Thus we declare Tapes.01 the winner in this unfair fight, as they win three categories while Tape Synth comes away with one. Now, that was a bit of fun, but here's the skinny. Both of these are fantastic plugins, and the cool thing is that they sound great together 
or stacked with other instruments as we've shown in our other tape synth video. I'm super happy with both plugins, although I would like to see Spitfire do a full blown version of this with multiple LFOs, layers, and a lot more control. So that's it for today. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe because we've got some really cool content in the works. Hope you have a great day and we will see you on the other side of the mountain.